and a good Friday morning to you. Hope your uh, Friday is going well. I uh, On Wednesday, when we last spoke, when we last got together, uh, or usually it's just me talking and then somebody decides to drop by. The last time I did this, I said, I hope to be back on Friday. And you, you may wonder, why do you always say, I hope? Because I can't plan that far ahead. <laughs> two days two days uh, in advance, a little too far for me. But uh, no, it's a... Uh, uh, today didn't work out at 8 a.m., so I figured I'd just do it when I have the opportunity. I've already had a couple meetings today, you know, doing business meetings and whatnot. I have an interview coming up a little bit later on, but that's great because that's activity. So it's Friday. It's a beautiful day outside, and today we're talking about how to improve your mindset. I found this great article by Susan Foster. Five things you can do to improve your mindset in just 20 minutes. It's on success.com. And I'm going to be sharing the uh, article uh, link here on the uh, comment section. So you can check it out for yourself when you have the opportunity. And it starts like this. Mindset is a set of attitudes. Uh, this is a, 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 a comment or a quote from Carol Dweck, a world-renowned Stanford, uh, Stanford psychologist who discovered after years of research that dedication, hard work, and resilience are much more important to growth and success than brains or talent. And I've said that before, resilience, right? Persistence is a huge deal. Dedication, hard work, and resilience, that's persistence. When we change our mindset to one of growth, we change the course of our lives. We can do these simple, easy steps every day, quickly and easily to improve our mindset. How is your mindset? Before we continue the article, how is your mindset right now? If your mindset is is a hindrance where you kind of... Uh, find yourself having a defeatist kind of mindset. You're already stacking the deck against yourself. Look, there's going to be a lot of obstacles and a lot of things that could get in your way to make your journey or your quest more difficult, right? If you're looking to success, if you're looking to grow a business or, or whatever you're trying to accomplish, you're chasing after a goal or a dream. Don't stack the de deck against yourself before you even start right so the one thing you definitely want to take advantage of is fixing your mindset so today we're doing about we're discussing things you can do to improve your mindset in just 20 minutes and uh, it says uh, all right we can do these steps every single day number one just breathe give yourself a few minutes it says studies show that just a few minutes a day of quiet can open our brains and make it available for our most innovative ideas sit or stand in a quiet spot feet on the floor, hands by your side or on your knees. Now just quiet your mind. Picture a place that is your idea of peace, such as a beach or a mountain or a forest. Could be out in the middle of nowhere, just amongst the scrub. Just breathe consciously and deeply from your belly. If your thoughts start to intrude, the project is due today, a late bill, an argument, just notice and then go back to your picture. You don't have to be a meditation expert to do this. Five to ten minutes of quiet, deep breathing during the day can also help us get back on track when stress levels get high and clear our minds to come up with a better solution or next step to our challenge. So just breathe. Take time to breathe. If you were to stop right now, not even for a full five minutes, but just for a little bit, And release the tension from your forehead, from your shoulders, from your body. And just breathe. good does that feel? 
just taking a moment to be in the moment and breathe just finding that mindset stabilization and just taking a moment for yourself and it's difficult sometimes but even if you have to go to your to your vehicle let's say you're at work and you can't find a place to just sit and breathe don't turn on the radio you know you can turn on the car turn on the ac if it's too hot or whatever but just stop be in the moment and breathe and relax i remember this one technique that i long time ago that I learned about laying in bed and then starting at your feet and clenching like your toes just clench and release and when you release just picture the tension leaving your body and then you know do another part of your your foot and then do your ankle and then do the top of your calves and then do your back calf muscles and then do your thigh working your way all the way up your body and down your arms to your fingertips and just tensing and relaxing and just taking a moment. It takes a while, right? Because you have to do all these different parts. But doing that and you allow the, the, the stress to leave it, you're almost willing the stress or the tension to leave your body. And it may not completely eradicate or, or get rid of that stress or tension, but you do get rid of some of it. And it's a, it's a great practice to at least try at least once a week. Try once a day if you can, or at least a couple times a week. So number one, that was just breathing. We're talking about things you can to, do to improve your mindset. Number two, check your thoughts. Five minutes. Have you ever gotten up in the morning when the weather is lousy and said, this is going to be a bad day? I have, the article says, more times than not. It guaranteed a day that finished the same way. Our thoughts are powerful. They create feelings which lead to actions and behaviors that determine whether our day goes well. Learning that we can choose our thoughts is one of the most powerful things we can do to take charge of our lives. Taking five minutes to make sure our thoughts are positive starts the day off with the right mindset. Now, one of the, the ways you can take control of your thoughts comes at the very first sentence in this particular paragraph. Have you ever gotten up in the morning when the weather is lousy? I can't think of a particular type of weather that's lousy. I just love weather. It's hot. That's fine. It's cold. That's fine. It's raining, storming, thunderstorm just take it in but i'm that's me right i just love the differences in in the weather like thunderstorms in particular i love going out and standing in thunderstorms right uh, when it snowed a couple of times here in laredo we'll, we'll go out and stand in the snow and, and 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 realize how quiet it gets when it snows because it absorbs sound right so check your thoughts and don't start off with the wrong thought when you start your day that's number two number three write your grateful list put three minutes into this one set a timer down three minutes and write down five things you are grateful for every day according to research by uc davis psychologist robert emmons keeping a gratitude journal contributes to a positive life attitude and makes us feel better sleep better and even have stronger immune systems believe it or not Try for a different list each day. And at the end of the week, you'll be surprised how this particular act will help your mindset. Again, three minutes, write your grateful list. What things are you grateful for today? I like to start each day just giving thanks for having another day in my life. So many people no longer have any more days. They've passed. We've lost people in our lives. We've lost people this year. We've lost people many years ago and some people will be lost today what are you grateful for today that's number three write your grateful list number four set your intention for the day this is five minutes again before you leave in the morning or before you get to work let's say you're working from home home set an intention of how you want the day to end how do you want the actions you accomplish today to make you feel at the end of the day how do you want to feel about your relationships 
and what can you do today to move that forward it doesn't have to be major what is one thing you can do that will make you feel better at the end of the day what action can you take I may add that can change your life change the direction of your life or the momentum in your life to get it going the way you want it to go so set your intention for the day at the beginning of the day that's number four number five turn off the noise how many times have you heard this it says two minutes on this one just for today find something else to listen to when you begin your day imagine doing that tomorrow morning on your Saturday morning do your morning commute without listening to the news <laughs> it's never positive it says well, it depends what you listen to right talking on the phone or checking social media imagine doing your morning commute without doing any of those three listening to the news talking on the phone or checking social media doom scrolling right listen to your favorite music a lecture you've recorded and have been wanting to get time for or just observe what's happening around you and that's I, I highly recommend that just observe what's happening around you I like to people watch you know people uh, going about their business seeing the interactions between people and sometimes you see that there's genuine love in their eyes when they're talking to each other and sometimes you see contempt <laughs> when they're talking to each other but it's interesting it's really always interesting it says there will be plenty of time to find out what's happening in the world when you get to your destination do this for a week and you will find yourself arriving at work in a calmer more positive and relaxed mindset do a review of what you do in the morning like let's say you're working from home right now and uh what do you do when you first uh, when you start the day right you get up after you you know take care of your your hygienic uh routine do you turn on the news does that put you in a bad mood you know do you put on music does that put you in a good mood that might be a good thing to continue to do right but change it a little bit turn off stuff that's negative and like it says do this for a week and you'll find yourself uh in a more calmer more positive and relaxed mindset best of all you'll discover you haven't really missed a thing it's like it seems like there's always something being talked about 24 7 but when somebody asks you hey remember that story last week you barely even remember it right because it's just non-stop so said so that's it just 20 minutes and you're well on your way to a more positive mindset practice this for just two weeks you'll see a tremendous difference in your productivity and your attitude so what were the five things that you can do to improve your mindset in just 20 minutes let's go through the list again number one just breathe for five minutes number two check your thoughts five minutes number three write your grateful list things you're grateful for every day try and change it up every day it's about 30 minutes number four set your intention for the day it says five minutes and number five turn off the noise two minutes so if you're an overachiever maybe you can do this in 10 minutes <laughs> right but uh, taking these steps to and and I think the most important thing I got out of this particular one my big thought for this one is turning off the noise to improve your mindset right turning off the noise and changing up your everyday pattern we, we seem to get sometimes stuck in a rut of doing the same thing every day right because it seems like we start doing that because it's just the easiest way to do things I do this, I get up I do this I go put the coffee I wake up my kids I start to you know it just becomes routine so if you change up your routine and especially by detracting or getting rid of negative things or things that affect you negatively you're already enhancing your mindset so block out the noise you know get rid of the negative things and improve your mindset if you do that for a week or two you know ask yourself how do I feel now comparatively to how I felt then maybe before you start doing it when you start writing your grateful journal right say this is how I feel my mornings are going you know I, I wake up and I turn on the news and I get stressed out and, and write it out and be as genuine as possible because those thoughts are for you and you alone nobody else has to read them as a matter of fact once you're done with the exercise after two weeks and you, you realize what you've done you can decide to get rid of them shred them burn them whatever you, you want they don't have to be seen by anybody that's for you and you alone 
you taking care of yourself, you taking care of your mindset and figuring out where you are. Because if you can figure out where you are and you realize that's not where you want to be, you can then start making changes to get to where you want to be. So that's it. We just provide knowledge. We try and provide education. And thank you, Linda. Growth mindset, absolutely. And we, and, and we want to give you the realization that you don't have to be where you are today tomorrow, right? You don't have to be who you are today tomorrow. You can change that because you always want to be doing personal growth. You always want to be doing personal development. I'm not saying you're a terrible person, right? It's just that, would you agree with me that we all have room to grow, room to improve, room to become better people? Nobody's perfect. There's only been one perfect person, and it's his weekend. We can all be better. Let's do what we can. And remember, knowledge is power. Imagination is king, and intelligence your weapon. Read a good book today, enrich your mind, and above everything, take action. I hope, <laughs> I hope to be back again on Monday at 8 a.m. I say I hope because I, I never know, but that's the plan. And I wish you a wonderful day today, a fantastic weekend. I hope you find some, some joyous moments this weekend and some peaceful moments and, and fulfilling moments in your life. I wish you that. I wish you joy. I wish you peace. I wish you fulfillment, and I wish you success. Success today, success tomorrow, success in your life, and success in your business. Have yourself a wonderful weekend. Until the next time, we'll be talking.